Hello there, puke drinkers, and welcome to Dead of the Brain Part 7, I believe. Uh, left off this uh, this new guy, I can't remember, I think it's Kane. He was a uh, neighbor village, zombies were there like a month before our village, old town. And now he's like talking how a cougar might have uh, been doing human experiments before, before I, before Cole knew about it. So anyway, we started out with coal. Um, anyway, if Cougar was experimenting on humans as samples, then uh, he'd surely know the, the zombie's weak point. But I mean, I'm the one that I knew the weak point of him before he did. Oh yeah, what do you think about that? I see. Uh, well, I guess if uh, Cougar was involved with this stuff, then uh, he probably wouldn't have died here now, I guess. I mean, I, if I don't, until I investigate more, I can't really, uh, say for certain, uh, have you noticed any changes in Cougar lately? You know, like he's kind of fidgety or avoiding somebody? No, uh, you know, I haven't, haven't really noticed anything in particular. I see. Well, besides me, how many people know about the, uh, Revival serum that, that he made. Uh, just me and Sheila. She uh, she ran away from zombies and uh, escaped into my apartment. So just the just the three of us knew. You haven't told the uh, zombie extermination members. Ah, uh, not yet. I mean, even among them, one of their one of their guys, one of their girlfriends, is uh, turned into a zombie, and uh, he's he's pretty depressed about it. So, you know, I couldn't, you know, I'd let them, if I told them, they'd be blaming Doc about it. So I couldn't really <laughs> do anything there. Alright, I see. Uh, you know, that's probably for the best not to let anybody know about the, uh, about the serum. You know, I gotta understand it more fully and, you know, and let, or we'll invite more, uh, you know, just more chaos into the situation. Well, listening to what you said, Cole, uh, you know, there's a lot to, a lot to tank, take into consideration. Uh, probably do a little more investigating myself, so if you'll excuse me. Uh, if I know, if I learn anything new, I'll, I'll let you know about it. Alright, alright, man. Kane's uh, his personality is a bit like me. Alright, well, Sheila's waiting, so better head back to the room. I don't have to explain about Doc. So he went out for a walk. Oh, thank goodness you're back, Cole. A little late. Uh, starting to worry. Uh, I mean, there's a, a lot happened out there. Oh, we better just look at this bed. Yeah, shit. A lot of time has passed. Uh, looks like I made Sheila worry. She's gonna be uh, she's gonna be pretty sad when she hears about Duck. All right, let's, let's get this over with. Um, you got a, you got a mark on your, on your neck there, Cole, you alright? Uh, it was, you know, it was pretty, pretty, it was pretty dangerous, but, uh, oh, uh, where, where's Cougar? He, didn't he come with you? Uh, Sheila, uh, it was my fault, but, yeah, Cougar was killed. Huh? He was, he was killed? What do you mean? Uh, when I was investigating on the second floor, uh, from, uh, a zombie attacked, uh, Doc from behind. No, that, that can't be. No, I'm not, this is the truth. I mean, I wish it was a lie, but... I mean, if I wasn't so slow... Cougar, man, I can't, I can't believe it. Sheila, how come you didn't save him? I mean, I was gonna, I was going to, but he already had a uh, a wound on his head, a bite on his head. I mean, if if it, Doc wasn't there, then uh, I would have, I would have been the one that got bitten, maybe. 
Oh, that's terrible, so... Cougar and, uh... And, uh, in your place, Cougar was the one that got... They got bit. Doc said he got what was, uh... What was coming to him. Uh, you know, you're making... Sheila have to... Undergo such a, uh... Such a horrifying experience. Some sobbing. Cougar was a uh, was a very precious person to me. Why, why such a why such a kind man have to meet such a tragic fate? Sheila, he treated me like his uh, like his own granddaughter. Let's look, let's look at this uh, sad face here. Uh, I, under I understand Sheila's feelings. Uh, it's my fault Doc died. Sheila was uh, such beloved by Doc. So it's, uh, it's just a tragic uh, thing all around. I mean, I've made a <laughs> I've made Sheila cry a few times, but uh, not to this uh, sphere of an extent. All I'm doing is making her uh, making her sad anymore. Sorry. I mean, it's my fault, Sheila. So uh, please, please stop crying. No, it's it's not your fault, Cole. I'm sorry. No, oh, she's better now. She already forgot. Oh, that's right. Uh, when you were talking to uh, to Nose, I I got this key. What uh, what's this key go to? I don't know. Uh, they said it's it's an a, a, a important key, so I was given it for something important. What could it be? I'm not, I'm not sure. If she I think she might have said Nose gave it to her. I can't rewind. Maybe maybe Cougar. It's probably Cougar. Yeah, it had it had been. Of course it was. Um, this key. I've seen it in Cougar's house before. Yeah, it's Cougar. I've seen it in Cougar's house before. Uh, I don't know exactly where. The... You know, I haven't I haven't really seen any anywhere in his house that it could be used. Well, anyway, uh, let's go to his house tomorrow and check it out. But actually, there there is something that uh kind of kind of piqued my interest. Um, I mean, no matter no matter how many zombies there are now, it, it, uh, it actually wasn't. Uh, Doc's Doc's fault. It uh, seems. Hmm? What do you What do you mean? The uh, the zombie that attacked Doc also attacked me. But then uh, some guy named Kane, a journalist, he he's, uh, he came and saved me. Was it one of the uh, zombie extermination members? No, it's he's from the neighboring uh, town actually. According to him. Uh, in his town over there, the uh, zombies appeared a month ago, but uh, Doc just showed me the the, the medicine. Uh, I mean, he's the, I'm the only one that he uh, told about that medicine. I mean, nobody even in his neighborhood even knew about it. He was he was making it in uh, you know in secret. So a month ago, I mean, we I haven't. I haven't seen a zombie in in this city at all uh, during that time. I mean, if, if that was the case, there'd be uh, reports on the television about it, right? I mean, it'd, it'd definitely be the uh, you know the proper course that would happen. But I think that I think their time would just fall into a great panic. But there's nothing on the TV or in the newspaper or nothing about it. Well, maybe there's uh, someone besides Cougar that made that kind of medicine. I mean, if that were the case, sure, but that kind of timing, just both of them pop popping the same medicine out like that at the same time? I, mean, I can't even imagine anybody besides Doc, and Doc uh, being able to create such a thing. Well, I mean, now that you say that, yeah, I suppose you're right. Anyway, we, uh... Until we investigate it a little more, we can't really say for sure. Oh man, so much happened today, I'm just tired. 
Time to time to get some sleep. You're right. Oh boy. Oh, it's so sad. So Cougar Cougar died thinking this whole thing was his fault. Yeah, if only uh, if only Kane got there a little sooner. Don't uh, don't leave me alone, Cole. If you're gone as well, I don't know what I'll be. Do I don't know what I'll do. It's all right. I'll promise you. I'll, uh, I'll never leave you alone. I mean, if I die, then I can't keep the promise I made to Doc. And right before he passed away, he uh, he made me promise to to um, you know always make you happy. Huh? Oh, she's already asleep. Oh, disc uh, drive B, disc C. Freaking big leagues now, boys. Uh, drive. Oh, oh yeah, it's probably uh, halfway mark, I'd say. Maybe more, I'm not sure. It's been about probably a year since I played this game. Oh man, I slept, uh, slept a little late there. It's already uh, already nighttime. My uh, body's uh, aching though. You know, I've been haven't been exercising lately. It's like it's rained today, huh? Where's, the, where's Sheila? Where's Cheetah gone? Uh, it looks like there's a memo. I woke up a little early, and uh, while it's not dark, I went out to get food at the department store. Uh, I borrowed your gun, so don't worry. I'll be back soon. Man, she's pretty uh, She's pretty level-headed, but... <laughs> I mean, if she's going to go... Uh, She's gonna go shopping even if the uh, the store workers aren't there. She'll she'll leave money on the table. It's hilarious. It's, uh, it's rain the day. Yeah, I can can hear the uh, can hear the sound of the rain pattering down. It's kind of a uh, it's kind of an odd. Uh, well, how do you say that? You know, enjoyable feeling to get immersed in. It's sure coming down hard. It's nice and cool while it's raining, but afterwards it gets uh, it gets pretty pretty humid, pretty hot. Uh, peeking down, uh, I don't see any any humans or dead. Uh, it's just a just a sad looking town. I can see the uh, the nearby buildings, but it doesn't look like there's any people in them. This sick pillow. This pillow is nice and fluffy. Be nice if the uh, the bed was the same. Uh, looks like uh, no, I didn't drool over the pillow. Nice. I mean, I was in such a deep sleep yesterday or last night. I didn't dream at all. Is the bed different than the pillow? Yeah, it is. The bed. Uh, it's not the most comfortable to sleep in. The, uh, the cushion's a bit stiff. There's not really anything in the room besides the bed itself. Uh, probably somebody probably brought the bed from somewhere else into here. Oh, I can't just be <laughs> be staring at this bed all day now. All right. Let's head on. I probably should save. All right. Let's see what these hooligans are doing. Down out to the hallway. Huh? Someone's on the uh, the phone extension. Who could it be? Oh, are you awake, Cole? It's Sally. Uh, oh, she says it's uh, it's me, Sally. Oh, good morning, Sally. I guess phone line. I don't know, like intercom or whatever. Uh, right now everybody's in the meeting room, gathered up. Uh, you wanna you wanna join us, Cole? You sound uh. Sound pretty jolly this morning. Uh, seems pretty fun. So yeah, I'll, I'll join everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm on my way right now. All right, we'll be waiting. Sound like everybody was uh pretty uh up in spirits behind uh, Sally there. The uh, the ten tension from yesterday is completely gone. Guess I'll just uh. Wait for Sheila to come home in, in the meeting room. Then. 
the uh, the atmosphere is completely different in the hallway from yesterday. Right, it was a it was a creepy little uh, little hall then. All right, where shall I go? I go to the meeting room or my own room? I mean, judging by the uh, by that phone call, everybody should be gathered up. Oh, some, uh, some fine work yesterday, Cole. That's cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Glad it, glad it ended, uh, well. Yeah, well. Uh, we got, it's a pretty, uh, pretty expensive looking, uh, table here. Desk here. Ordinarily, I wouldn't be in the, uh, be somewhere where that would have this kind of, uh, this kind of high price, uh, item. Same thing. Uh, there's a whiteboard in the back, uh, nothing's written on it. Must not be, uh, you know, too, uh, too important of a meeting. These chairs. Uh, this is 16th Precincts, uh, big boy. And I see, I see, he has, he has the airs of someone in his, in his, uh, in his rank. If I didn't get wrapped up in this situation, you know, I probably wouldn't be talking to the, to the head, <clears throat> chief of police it's the kind of guy that just uh, takes uh, just takes the position of a, of a leader he seems like a you know I'm glad he seems like a pretty pretty friendly guy you know I thought he would be the kind of dude that if he saw a hundred uh, hundred zombies coming at him he'd bust out his bare fists and uh, uh, just uh Take them on. Ghoul's a uh, pretty uh, pretty reliable guy, I think. All right, is he gonna just praise all these idiots? Uh, Nose is uh, outside of his appearance, he's actually a pretty uh, pretty kind fella. Uh, you know, he was thinking of Ray yesterday, and he came to me with that request. He seems to be the most, uh, the most powerful, the strongest of these guys. I wouldn't want to see him running around in a, in a drunken frenzy. Made a promise with uh, Nose uh, for Big Dog. I think that might be a restaurant. I'm not sure. Uh, so you don't want to finish this, uh, you know, get through this whole thing and go eating with him. Ray was uh, was pretty feisty yesterday, but I under I understand his feelings. He doesn't look like he's uh you know he's all out of control today. Uh, you know, he's he's calmed down a bit. I'm sorry for Ray, but I mean if we didn't take care of his girl on the second floor, then I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Pretty dangerous yesterday. He almost got attacked by Kill. Uh. Pretty, uh, pretty short-tempered guy, so I guess I can't, can't, it's not too much of a surprise. Not to mention it, he said he was a, uh, was a cop at the, uh, the 16th precinct. Uh, so if Ghoul was the head of the police, then, uh, Kiel's one of his underlings. Kiel's pretty, uh, pretty, uh, docile when he's, uh, you know, in front of the, in front of the chief here. This is Sally who called me on the intercom earlier. Uh, she explained to me yesterday all the situations, so you know, I learned a lot from that. Hmm? Yesterday, uh, next to Sally was a uh, was another girl. I thought. Ah, whatever. I'll ask about it later. Even from far away, Sally's a Sally's a she's a hottie. All right, let's just go left to right. Nothing else you can do, right? Nah. All right, the chair. Don't want to talk. Oh, whoops. Cole, you have a uh, you have some business with me. Uh, she's even she's even prettier than yesterday. What's wrong? Is there uh, is there something stuck in my face? 
tell it was uh, real calm and you know, kind of in control yesterday as well, so it looks like no matter what the situation is, uh, you know, she's, she's of her mind and able to, to think things clearly. Kind of, kind of jealous. I'm not sure why she's uh, taking a nap while I'm talking to her. But... Uh, cute people, if you take their glasses off, they can become even cuter. If you took Sally's glasses off, uh, you know, she'd kind of, her appearance would kind of completely change. Let's see, I bet some watch. Yep. No matter how many times you look at her breasts, they're pretty large. <laughs> But not not just her breasts. Uh, I mean, her style is like a she she could be, she'd be a model. Uh, Cole, you uh, did you call me over here just to stare at my chest? Oh, c come on now. That's, that's suspicious. It's probably uh, should probably quit before I get too engrossed. Uh, would uh, where'd you work at before this place, Sally? Me? <laughs> well, what, what, what would you guess? Mm, with, your, with your glasses, I'd probably say uh, like an office lady. I'm sorry, but uh, I was actually a uh, an aerobic instructor. I see. So you're an instructor, huh? So, uh, so that's why you have no style, then. Or that's why you have style. Oh, yeah, I took my glasses off during the uh, during the lessons. And you know, my eyesight wasn't particularly important for them. Uh, where'd you work at, Cole? Me? Uh, well, I guess you could say things uh, related to the to interiors. Um, you know, lately I've just been painting. Oh, well, so after uh, after this whole thing's over, you'll have uh, you'll have a lot of work then. <laughs> I mean, that'd be good. Oh, um, what's up with that girl that was by your side yesterday? Oh, Kathy, huh? Uh, she's, uh, she's a bit unstable mentally, so, uh, she's in her room resting right now. Oh, I see, that's, uh, that's sad. It's like uh, everybody on our team here is, uh, they're pretty good guys. Yeah, that's right, uh. We have Ghoul as the uh, who was the chief, so he's always the first one thinking of uh, of everybody. Uh, and then Keel, he's a he's a pretty open and nice guy. Uh, you know, out in out in the actual scene, out and actually uh, doing stuff. You know, referring to zombies and dealing with the whole situation. Uh, you know, he handles everything pretty well, so I guess uh, cops are the best ones suited for this kind of situation. I mean, he knows you're, you're he's kind of, as you already know, he's a warm and kind, uh, kind fella. And when I first met him, uh, I didn't really want to get too near, but, uh, you know, I was, I was wrong. Ray, well, uh, I mean, when he's actually in battle, he, uh, he combat he uh, he excels I mean it seems like uh, he I mean even before all this he originally enjoyed shooting some uh, shooting some handguns but uh, he's all he's also a bit of a show-off though he's also been rather uh, insistent lately what do you mean what do you mean by insistent well I mean I was I was worried about him lately so but he kind of interpreted it as me, uh, you know, I guess liking him or something. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking like that at all. So, you know, it's kind of misunderstanding on his part. And here's Ray talking right now. Sally, how long you plan on talking? Oh my god. Anyway, I mean, if you, if you tell him about this, our conversation here. It'll just be a hassle for everybody, so let's just keep this as a secret to, for, to us. I got you. Oh yeah, you should uh, you should probably meet Sally as well. Uh, if you get some free time, uh, why don't you go talk to her? Her room's uh, number 213. Uh, I was just there a little bit ago. 
she's uh, she's looking she's looking better. Uh, sh she'll be glad if you visit her. Two thirteen, huh? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll check up on her a little later. Uh, but don't do anything weird now. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was fine if you visit if you visit Sally, but <laughs> don't you be doing any weird stuff. You don't gotta worry. Alright, alright. What do we got next? This hooligan. How do you get her away? Move. Uh, if anything's up, Cole, just call me anytime. Let's go. Kill? Kill? Oh, Cole, I, uh, checked up on the, uh, the whole second floor situation. You, uh, you did a fine job there. Oh, thanks, man. I uh, saw the uh, guys, the guy you were with yesterday. I saw, saw his dead body there as well. Uh, the zombies get him. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's a shame, but when I uh, when I uh, realized that it was already too late. Oh man, it's uh, it's too bad. I'm sorry, I'm asking. Uh, ask such a uh, kind of brought up an un uncomfortable topic there. Oh, it's it's cool, man. Look at this fool. You know, I I thought it yesterday, but you know, actually actually looking at Kill's face, he's kind of he kind of has a, a Chinese look to him. <laughs> you see this kind of person on TV quite often. I guess this does place in take in America, but it's not Japan. Um. Yes, yeah, some uh, some pretty some pretty slanted, some pretty sharp eyes. Uh, I bet they get uh, pretty scary when he's when he's investigating something. His face is pretty horrifying, but his body looks pretty normal. Looks like he's a, he's a pretty pretty well built guy. Uh, you know, he's more bur burly shoulders than me, but but I mean, if you're you know less in that area, you couldn't really be a cop anyway. Well, the d detective, um, the uh, the t close detectives were they're pretty uh, pretty bland. They're not bland. They're pretty uh, pretty flashy. Pretty uh. Know, kind of fashion uh, conscious. Uh, you know, maybe kills. Uh, you know, kind of, kind of up on all that stuff. Uh, I can see his, uh, his gun strapped to his shoulder belt. Looks like a uh, automatic. And I want, I want a shoulder belt for my own. If I had it uh, around my waist, then you know when I sit down, I might accidentally uh, forget about it. And probably hurt. <laughs> this guy says the most random stuff. Uh, okay, that's everything. Uh, so yeah, actually, uh, on the second floor yesterday, the uh, Professor Cougar he he died in my place. Uh, if he wasn't there, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. I uh, saw a bullet in his forehead. Was that was that you, Cole? Yeah. You know he didn't want to. Don't want to become a zombie, so you know, he wanted me to kill him. I see. That's uh, that's rough. You know I've been in uh, I'm in the same situations myself, so I know what you're saying. What uh, what kind of areas was uh, was Cougar researching? Uh, was, you know, mainly cancer cell stuff, uh, uh, why do you ask? Oh, I mean, nothing, really, he just had, uh, several different stains on his, uh, his white lab coat, so, got me, uh, kinda, kinda curious. Wait, did he? Um, where's, uh, where's Sheila at? Oh, yeah, she went to, uh, go get groceries at the department store. Uh, she should be, uh, coming back soon, I think. Well, I was just, uh, out a little bit myself. I didn't see her anywhere. Uh, I didn't see her or any, any dead either, though, but, 
I did see some of the uh, some of the bloody fox. Of course, uh, Ray wasn't unlocking their ranks though. Uh, so the, the bloody foxes, those are that. That's that biker gang, right? But uh, why do you why do you mention Ray? Oh, you didn't hear? Uh, he was part of their uh, their team in the past. Oh, I see. Uh, so what's up with them? Oh, I mean, when they saw when they saw me, they they ran off. But uh, more importantly, from them though, uh, this is just my you know, just a guess. But I think uh, during the noon time, the, uh, the zombies are hiding somewhere. Hiding? Uh, I mean, where though? I mean, I don't, I don't know to that extent, but if they're hiding somewhere, you know, if they're all hiding during the noon time, then can't really do anything about them during uh, during that time period. Um, did uh, did Cougar see anything before his death call? Oh, uh, you know something about the zombies or anything that caught your uh, caught your interest? Something that caught my interest? Um, shit, it sounds like, uh, Kill has some suspicions about Doc. Oh, uh, that's right, uh... He said he, he thinks he's seen you somewhere, uh, he has a memory of seeing you somewhere. Me? Uh, I mean, you know, it might have been during a patrol or something, but... I can't say I myself have seen Cougar anywhere, uh... I mean, if he's always, uh, you know, kind of wearing that outfit, and just being who he is, I'd definitely have a face that you'd remember seeing. That, that is true. So, uh, how do you, uh, how do you feel about the other members here? You know, I knew the, uh, knew the boss for a while, but, you know, it's kind of his honor thing. I'm always, uh, I'm always causing trouble for him. Sally has a... Pretty, uh, pretty smart head on her, and even I'm amazed at times, uh, you know, in these projects that we can't afford a single mistake on, uh, you know, she's able to take care of him in a, in a real short time. Uh, knows he was a former, uh, used to be part of the army, so, you know, he, he kind of, he, he excels in, you know, when he's, uh, when he's taking care of business. It's a bit embarrassing, but, uh, I was actually saved by him once. I mean, Ray does pretty well, you know, out in action as well, but, you know, he has, uh, problems with, you know, other people. He's always thinking about himself, so, that's, uh, it's a personality we can't really, uh, do with. Um, Kathy, you know, to be frank, she's kind of a, kind of a hindrance. I mean, when the time actually, uh, comes to pull the trigger, she's just shaking in fear and can't do it. Uh, so how's that? Is that, a? Uh, is that, a? Uh, I guess, uh, was that any of, any of use to you? Yeah, sure. Uh, looks like you're getting along with everybody well here yourself, Cole. Alright, looks like all he has. This looks, looks like all I have, because, uh, I um, uh, had to go cut my toenails, so, uh, see you boys later. Actually, I gotta save first. And...